I know what you're wondering. You're wondering, what's that? What's that M on your arm? It's actually a W. It's Walgreens. I got my second shingles shot yesterday. Vaccination. If you ever had chicken pox when you were a kid, I recommend as you get older and you get to be about my age in your 50s, you should go get a shingles vaccination so that you do not get shingles. I had some friends get it and I didn't want to go through it. So that's what that is. My arm's a little sore, but it's my left arm. So let's start shaving with the right as usual. And we're going to do some captain's choice today. First of all, I'm going to start with what you always start with, the aftershave. Captain's choice Italia. You know I love the cherry scent. This is the almond scent, sort of the marzipan scent. Oh, good stuff. And the captain's choice brush, the synthetic brush with the uh, this kind of cool plasticky handle. And I'm going to shave with the 1918 razor from Gillette. 1980, 100 and four years old. Hey, I did the math in my head. How you like them apples? Mm-hmm. Look out, Goodwill hunting. You put that big thing up there, 20, 20 minus 1918. I'll just about figure it out like that. Anyway, got a, uh, you know what kind of blade I have in here? It's not a feather blade. It's not a Gillette. It's not a whatever. It's a Vanderhagen blade. Just because I found some. I was like, I got to use something different. So I'm using the old cheapy Vanderhagen that came with the we're Vander Hagen today, boys. We're Vander Hagen. Anyway, it's in there. And of course, the soap. I couldn't find Captain's Choice. It's in the bag. I looked and, and there's so much stuff in there. I found this first and I forgot. I haven't used this in a while. I always use the, uh, um, the aftershave lotion. So this is Terror from Barrister and Man. It's good stuff. I love, love, love the aftershave. And I think I only used this once, maybe, but this is mentholated as well. Sorry, I, <laughs> I was too lazy to dig down into the bag of things that I have. This huge... Anyway. All right, let's shave. I took a shower, did my hair. Time to put some hot water on my face. I did a quick shave yesterday with an electric razor. And uh, so today we're going to get it done with the 1918 Gillette. Simplicity at its finest. The simplest one of the... Except for the little ball end, which you can take off. It's a simple, simple one, two, three, sort of four, five piece razor, because the top, you can actually pull that off too, and you pull the bottom off. 1918, that's an oldie. An oldie, but a goodie. It may look scary, but it's not. That thin head and those the open comb. I know, if you're just new to uh, safety razor shaving, that can be daunting. You know, you see that open comb, and you're like, what the heck? Is that going to drag across my skin? Is that going to cut me? No, 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 no. It's there to protect you. Just the opposite. All right, there we go. We got some stuff in there. Terror. It's a ship that got caught in the, uh, the I believe it was the Arctic ice. And uh, yeah, not, not a good day's outing for them. I cannot imagine what that must have been like to go on a ship to the Arctic and like, ooh, this is being of Arctic, man. Oh, this is so tingly and minty and menthol-y and good. I need to keep this in my drawer. I keep, you know, like five or six uh, shaving soaps down in the drawer here that I, you know, my go-to ones, you know, all the Taylor of Old Bond Street and the, 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 the space soap and the, you know, Marguerite's in the Arctic. And uh, I think I'm going to put this one in there. It's good stuff. All right, here we go. Vanderhagen razor blade in there. Brand new and a brand old 1918 Gillette. This has got the thinnest head of any razor I own. Look at that sucker. Even with the shaving cream on it. With the shaving cream on it, it looks like the thickness of a fat boy. So a little hint as to uh, the future now past. The future past of Gillette razors. What does the he future future hold? They released a couple of safety razors in the past few years. Will they ever re-release something like the Fat Boy? Probably not. Probably not, but I see that Global Shave Club, who did release the Fat Guy razor a little while back, are also doing a toggle version of that razor. So that's exciting. I don't think that Sheldon will send it to me because I, <laughs> I feel like he had such bad luck sending me stuff. But I wish him well in this new razor. 
And I really do love the fat guy. I have no problem at all with his fat boy replica. That I thought that was pretty cool. Ooh, I got a nick already on the first Oh, You gotta be an old school man to shave with this sucker. <laughs> oh no, your toxic masculinity is frightening me. I'm just kidding, folks. I don't go for him for all that stuff. I'm Gen X. We don't care about anything. We barely care about ourselves anymore. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means. It would be, uh, I was going to say it would be interesting for me to go back and like rewatch some of my own videos, but I might be mortified with the stupid things I say just like out of nowhere. <laughs> so funny. But I hope you find some sort of entertainment or information. Now, I'm not a hub of shaving information, so and, and I get tons of questions uh, both on Instagram and in YouTube comments, and I can't answer all of them, and I, I wish I could. Ooh, that felt like something. Felt like something snagged there. I think it was just a whisker. Keep an eye on that. Uh, but anyway, so some of the more common questions are how many times can you use a blade, a, a safety razor blade to shave? And I say four or five. But that's me. Some people like might, might like to change it out more often. But I get good results from doing that. All right, there's the first pass. All right, we're getting there. We ain't there yet, but we're getting there. Come on, y'all. Vander Hagen. That can mean whatever you want it to mean. To me, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't mean it to be offensive in any way. It just sounded dumb when I said it, and so... Once I said, like I said, I don't want to go back and watch myself or listen to myself because I might be mortified at the things that come out of this, whatever. All right, second pass. Oh, God. I caught a glimpse of this in the mirror and I thought I had blood all over my arm. This is what it's come to, folks. This is what it's come to. So I got that tiny little nick right there, so I need to slow down for a second. Somebody also asked me, do you tend to nick yourself more when you're talking, making these videos? And I think probably so. I don't know, I've never done a, you know, I get nicked even when I'm not making these videos, certainly. I'm gonna do this. I always like to hold down, if there's like, if I've just exposed the nick again, I like to hold it down, as long as I'm not having to go over that area again. The greatest thing about this tiny little thin head is you can get it under your nose and get everything, every whisker. There are some razors, the heads are just far too big, like the Merker Future. Even the Fat Boy, it's almost too big. <gasps> Blasphemy. Like I said, I'm Gen X. Haven't you seen that movie Reality Bites? We're just like all about bucking the system. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was never like that. I didn't like that movie. I have hung out and played guitar with Ethan Hawke before. Did I ever tell you that story? I hung out at a party with Matthew McConaughey. This is in 1997 or 8, 98, 97, 98. I'll tell you that later. I, oh, it was for the Newton boys. Oh, somebody. Now, speaking of Instagram, uh, there's, of course, a messaging feature on there, but I don't really use Instagram very much and I sometimes forget how to use it. So if you sent me messages on Instagram, I'm probably not going to be able to answer them. But uh, I did scroll through a bunch of them the other day, so I apologize if you sent me something, but I read it even if I can't necessarily answer every single one. Like a lot of them want sort of uh, shaving advice that I kind of give in my videos, you know? So it's like if you have some questions, and I know it might be daunting because I got a bunch of videos, I don't even know how many I have. Somebody can tell me, but um, all the information will be revealed. All right, ooh, got a second tinier nick. This one's still going, man, what the heck? I don't like that. I really did a number on that. It's like a little, a little bit of a slice there. All right, third pass, ooh, getting that tingle, getting smooth. I'm telling you, man, simple, simple, simple is better. That's what I think. Sometimes complex is fun, but you know. When it comes to certain things, I think simple's 
a better choice. Oh man, this stuff is good. Barrister and Man. You know, I need to look at their... Uh, I was sent this. I can't remember from whom now. And I apologize. <laughs> I feel like I'm always apologizing for my either lack of research or lack of memory. But uh, I need to check out what other stuff they do. Because I love this stuff. This terror is great. It's like sounds like the new... Uh, oh man, I've got a couple of necks. I'm going I'm to preemptively get my... Uh, my alum stick out here, my Shave Nation alum block, to cut those, to knock those cuts down. Because if I get knit enough nicks, I can't put, like I'd have to put a whole roll of toilet paper stuck to my cheeks and chin and everything else. That's when I get out the alum. I don't have a styptic, pardon me, styptic pencil. I used to have one. But I used it all up a long time ago. So now I just kind of use the alum. I prefer it because the styptic pencil leaves like white residue on your face and the alum doesn't. At least for me. At least this alum that I'm using doesn't. Man, I'm getting tons of little nicks with this thing. Woo! Vanderhagen! It's cut me up like a feather. Feather blade, that is. I've got to go extra light now because now I'm getting all... Now I'm getting squeamish. There we go. Get that angle right. Get all the things right. I get a lot of questions on, uh, or a lot of those questions on Instagram were asking me, like, what's a good beginner's razor? And I would say, like, like anything from Rockwell, anything you can afford from Rockwell, or Merker, or uh, manufacturers like that, once you get past, you know, buying the cheap $20 Vanderhagen at Target or wherever you buy it, Marks and Sparks. That is department store, isn't it right? Marks and Spencer? Or is it just grocery? I can't remember. Dang it. I used to love to go into Waitrose. My mom lived in London for a short time back in 2006. And I love shopping at Waitrose. I got scotch eggs there. I'm going real light up here because I got that one Nick that's been staring at me since the beginning of this video. And I got a few right around here, but that's kind of par for the course. That is like the least smooth skin on my face. I think it's where I had the most acne when I was in like in middle school. So sort of like having chicken pox and getting the shingles vaccination. Your uh, childhood acne will affect your shaving later on in life. So <laughs> do what you can to prevent or help yourself out. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face off and then we'll give the uh, give the problem areas a check. Yep, always, 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 always. I wish there was some way I could get that. And I've tried, you know, to just get this first try, but it never seems to wanna work. It's me, I, I take full responsibility. I'm not blaming my razors because I've used them with all different kinds of razors and they all do the same thing, so it's gotta be me, I'm the common denominator here. All right. I always make sure there's no little pricklies right there because it bugs me when I touch my face. And usually around the corners of my mouth too, I need to get those. All right. I would do it, but I'm not going to. You could pull this bottom thing off and this top thing. So when I screw the top back on, I kind of have to hold this under here too. But uh, it's an old gal, still going, still going strong, still shaving now. I mean, when this thing was made, when the, whoever bought this brand new, can, can, can you have imagined what they would have thought if they knew where this thing was now? I mean, that's crazy to me. I love that kind of stuff. Okay. Yep. A few little nicks around the chin area. So, well, I gotta put the top on this. Somebody asked me, what do you do to prevent your razor uh, getting rusty? And if it's a butterfly razor, I'll open it up. Sometimes I'll take the blade out. Most times I'll just leave it out on the counter to dry. I won't put it in a drawer or anything. I'll leave it out. So that's what I do. And they don't rust, really. At least the ones that I have don't. So, okay. Let's see. Where? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Shave Nation, Geo Fat Boy. Shout out to you, brother. One of the OGs. Ooh. Yeah, that alum. I might as well get my whole face. Don't want some of my face tight and the rest loose. Yeah, you're walking around with jowls cropper all over the place. God, please don't. I was going to say, please don't turn that into a gift, but now it's going to give you the idea to turn it into a gift. And now 
I manifested my own embarrassing gift. Ah, oh, jeez. No when to keep your mouth shut, kids. No when to just keep stum. That means don't talk. Okay. So let this now with this one. I don't put too much care into it. I just kind of put the top back on. I was like, hey, you're you're up. You're on your own, buddy. But it does kind of leak. Like that's something I'm not gonna worry about. Now you gotta let it sit on there for a second. Tighten your skin up, tighten those pores, maybe tighten those little cuts down. It looks like there's a couple little bit right there, but that one seems to have stopped. So let the alum kind of sit on your face for a minute, do its thing. If you don't, and while you're doing that, why don't you clean up a little bit? I'm washing out my brush, and then I will also set that out to dry on the counter. Knock the dickens out of it. Ah, Bob Ross style. How are we doing? How are we looking? Okay, yeah, I think it's time. I'm gonna wash off the alum. Hopefully. Ah, oh, so smooth, man. If you aren't using a safety razor yet, and you've been on the fence, or you've been, you know, maybe financially doesn't make sense, or uh, you know, you're just nervous about trying something new, do yourself a favor and just take the leap. Just doesn't matter which kind you get, which blades you use, as long as it's, you know, not, not falling apart in your hands, you know? Because you can still get a decent shave out of some pretty crappy razors. All right, Italia from Captain's Choice. These are the only two Captain's Choice things I use today, but still dedicating it to Captain's Choice. They were nice enough to send me the stuff, which I love. Wheaton, Illinois, captainschoicestore.com. Out of Wheaton, Illinois, I've never been there. Been the Chicago land area a bunch. My dad used to live there. Oh, oh, whew, that smells so good. You know what it smells like? Well, it smells like apple pie and cherries and almond and marzipan. Oh man, so good. And because I used the alum first, it didn't really burn me. I'm gonna go for a second round. Why not? Doubles, make it a double. It's so good, so, so good. I should take these two and mix them together and then just like, I might go back in time. I'm not sure what would happen if I did that. Okay, wash my hands off, get that off there. Look around, make sure everything's in place. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining me. This is just kind of a fun one. I still got a few things I've got to uh, shave with. Somebody asked, have you tried the supply razor? I bought one. Uh, yeah, it's called supply, right? Yeah, yeah. The single edge supply razor. So I'm gonna try that out soon. And it's still unopened in the package. And I gotta try out the Pearl Shaving Flexi, which people have been telling me is an adjustable razor. So, and all the prices for the uh, Pearl Shaving is back on that old Pearl one, and the soap too. So can't wait to try that. That's it, thanks for joining me everybody. Have a great weekend. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I read every single one of them. Some of them I have to give a little heart to, just cause it's so nice. I'm glad you're there. I'm glad you're here. And uh, that's it. Talk to you later. Bye.